equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Take cover!
Huh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Gat in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! I smell trouble! to wherever the Geth are bunkered. He's the closest thing left to proper channels. Tower secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. What do they want? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. 
I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial Affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous. And I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fidan if you really must know. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Vidan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh, I can't think of any reason for an attack like this. We just wanted to build a home. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. I have to go. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Why should I speak with Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. I have to go. So long, Commander. <laughs> I 
Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. Tell me about yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us or don't. Otherwise, leave me to my work. What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about that. Ask Fidan, or one of the others. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony, before the Geth attacked. You should speak to Fidan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. I have to go. I wish you luck. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. Is there something I can do for you? I'm told to make all my goods available. What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Gorat II Heranon Maldinest God Inost Ledra. Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Inost and Ledra, in my case. Why is your name so long? We are named for our origins. Gorat II is my homeworld, Heranon my clan's country, Maldinest and Got are the city and district where I live. How do you keep things in stock in conditions like this? My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks, and few of those have time for shopping. What can you tell me about Zoo's Hope? A fascinating place by all accounts, though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fi Dan? Maybe he can tell you what I can't. Goodbye. Yes, good luck. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last Runa. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fi Dan. He knows the colony better than me. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> Nothing else. She's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. Goodbye. Good luck out there. Davin does what he can, or our food will run out sooner.
Commander, what can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. This place is a mess. These people are brave, but the Geth are relentless. My people know this better than anyone. These colonists may not have much, but this is their home. They will fight to the death to defend it. looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. There's another one. Doesn't look like it's been activated yet, though. We should keep looking.
Tag him and tag him. What are the Geth doing with that transmitter? The transmitter is helping them communicate. We must destroy it. to stop them.
on me! Regroup! You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. No! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm Trying to get to the- Dying! <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave him. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting! Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. Ask Fidan. Ask him about the- ah! Heads up. Perimeter secured. I can't believe the colony held out as long as it did. I won't. I won't do it. I won't. I can't. I can't. I won't do it.
Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Again, Commander. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much I know, but it's all we can spare. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again, Commander. <laughs> For you. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander.
now to the Geth base. Something an intelligent mind expects to see. have caused some concern. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Phi Dan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving, but the Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Are we getting close to their base? You're almost there. They're holed up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further down the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where's your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope Colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Tell me about the colony. 
We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. Where's your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Hmm. We can survive. We ran when the attack hit. I hope you can get us out of this mess. How are we supposed to fight an enemy like this? I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods? I'm a freelancer. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Do you have any idea what the Geth were looking for? Uh... That's for smarter men than me to figure out. I have no idea what anyone would want with this ruin. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. Please, keep your fire to... No, oh, and I must inform you that the company will not be responsible for any injuries you sustain while in our facility. You're not much of a people person, are you? I like people. I just like them more when they're helping Exogeny profit. Someone needs to worry about the bottom line. I'm the only one left. I'm going. Please be careful if you go to headquarters. We don't want any unnecessary damage.
should ask for. We've been trapped for days. Commander, what can I do for you? Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter...
We need another way in. This looks like a one-way drop, Commander. Baron. Who are you and what are you doing in here? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. A Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. As soon as you go, I'm gonna find a place to hide. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Good luck with that field. Want to review protocol. Can't you get straighten this thing out? I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with. Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Oh, good. I do need the queue.
Jenny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Uh, how do you know I'm Elizabeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require, Dr. Bainham? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. No wonder they were behaving so strangely. Your pilot should be warned. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We need to drop that field and get back to Zeus' home. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. Going to standby mode. to anchor their ships to the sides of buildings. The Geth don't waste much finessing their landings. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. This place seems almost peaceful. Do you think the Geth were you? The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power.
Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Anyone still alive in here? The gas are very thorough. much force across the whole system. Is there some way to isolate it on a single door? Barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. 
I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create.
was that all about? This is Juliana Kane of Astero's Colony. Please help us. It's my mom! Stop! Stop the rover! You can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. What do you think you're doing, Jong? Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorium. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. You shouldn't be wasting time. Deal with the Thorium. We ran when the attack hit. We... Why build a colony? No. If only Exogenians... I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Everybody wants something. Hurry up about it. Fair enough. I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny Headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. You shouldn't be wasting time. It's almost time, isn't it? I'm glad you decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What'd you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. We might be able to adapt a concussion grenade to deploy it. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. My men will keep everyone safe here. If you're going... It